Fancy's looking fine. Ready to go to work. Let's go, guys. First day back at the job. So yeah, we're here. Good to be back. Seems very familiar. It's like deja vu. A little chilly this morning though. I uh, I don't know what it is. Probably like 50s. What's temperature today? Right now? In the 50s. It looks so. like 60 now. It's flannel weather. Finally. Let's uh, go in and see what they got for us. Employee and driver entrance. We are employees. We are both, kind of. Well, we're contractors. Uh, yeah, there should be. So I'll be out there saying it's 437018. I'll be out there. Right. Sounds good. All right, cool. Thank you. The bills have changed. They look weird. These said they're going back to the old cell. 6,543 pounds. The original manifest said 2,000 pounds. <laughs> but. <laughs> They changed it over here. But to they six, added some more. 6,540. Yeah. Oh, I mean, fancy. You're going to be working so hard. Yeah, he's going to be working way <laughs> too hard. Sure not. Leaking oil. Press that. I'm going to have this valve cover off. If you don't, like, if it's been on for a while, that gasket gets really hard. So I was making sure that we don't have any uh, leaks because it likes to leak in that back corner right there. And I was just making sure because I had to double check it and triple check it. But it looks like we're all right. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go look at the other side and close it.
know what? I got new gloves. I should use them. a new trailer it's an old trailer hopefully it's okay um, we've heard that they've actually stepped up the maintenance on these trailers they've hired crews now uh, since people are starting to return to the workforce finally uh, to maintain these trailers so I'm hoping hoping they're on top of it so um, fun tip if you want the trailer to go with you you turn the land and go this way if you want the trailer to stay behind it goes that way I know. Silly! Alright, those have been with us for ever today. You know how this works, but since we have a lot of new subscribers that don't know us from Receiva's days, I'm going to explain how this works. Uh, basically, we have a dedicated Denver, Colorado run out of Sacramento, uh, California. So twice a week we go to Denver. Uh, we start on Wednesdays, so Wednesday morning, which today's Friday morning, but Wednesday morning we leave Sacramento, get to Denver on Thursday morning. Friday morning we're back here in Sacramento. Saturday morning we're back in Denver. Late Saturday night, early Sunday morning we're back in Sacramento and we call it a week. What routes do we take? We take 80 to, what's that road called? 287. 287. I get to use my whole cars again. Oh yeah. So 287 to 25. Five. That's to it. The, I think it's 470. Some toll road. The loop around 470. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Unless we have alter alternative routing because of weather, then it gets fun and pretty, real pretty. I think this year we might experiment a little bit with I-40 and I-25 because well, they'll pay for it and Colorado's not the grandest either. <laughs> I uh, I hope that Colorado has done some road construction this summer and fixed their roads a little bit. No, they're, they're, they're pretty they're, rough. There's still road construction I-25. That construction is going to be there until probably 2075. Yeah, until we retire? Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's how the run works. Uh, like I was saying earlier, Martin usually leaves out of here. We switch up on the hill with the hill would be Donner. Uh, then I drive my shift. Uh, we're going to switch again, what, Tuella tonight, Utah? Yeah. And uh, then he'll take us into Denver. So that's yes. how it goes, guys. Are you happy to be back? I am. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go too. It's going to be different pulling the big old dry box behind the truck. It's, it's uh, different having the flatbed, but. Yeah. Hey, it pays the bills. It pays the bills and then some. It's like actually really good money. Yeah. And I'm, I, I've been, I'm looking I've, forward to that. And I've been I've been tossing an idea around for the past couple days. Or he so, won't so. tell me what it is, so maybe he will when we get in the truck. But I just might. Yeah, he keeps telling me I have to stay tuned. She has to stay tuned <laughs> to the next episode. I'm not right. gonna tell her if you guys are gonna find out. Oh. I mean, well, that's not how it works. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Uh, let's go. Let's hit the road. Oh hey. Bypass. Are we getting it or not? Oh, we're good. We're getting it. We're good. We're getting it. We're good. We use drivelies, guys. See if it provides us with a pre-pass. Uh, we don't like having that equipment on our da on our uh, window, so we use drivelies. Been using it, uh, gosh, almost this whole year. Love it. Great service. So let's see if we get the bypass at the Antelope scale today. Well, we're trying to leave, but there's a bunch of trucks everywhere blocking us in. This might be a minute.
Alright guys, we made it here to the uh, summit on top of Donner. Going to use the facilities. I'm going to start driving. My first shift in months. Say I'm excited to be an understatement. Are you? No. I mean, maybe a little. I might be a little excited. Alright, we're both peed. And we hit the road. Yeah, I'm not going to get hit today. Well, not today. Doing like 30 miles an hour. I know. I think he's doing more like 50. Maybe. Not about 50. <laughs> probably plenty close. Alright, so next time you see us, we're uh, probably going to be getting fuel. I don't know where yet. Martin's going to check the fuel prices. See if we can get their discount. We're doing things a little different this time around at SEVA. Uh, instead of using their fuel card, we are using our own. We have a fully funded fuel account. Uh, we usually have 4000 in there for the week. Um, and we're going to be using our own discount cards. Uh, that's right. Using our own discounts. Uh, open roads and uh, mud flap to get some uh, fuel savings. It worked really well for us. I'm sorry it's so darn loud here. Let's get in here. It worked out really well for us when we had our authority and Martin was running, uh, having our own fuel card set up. Um, you know, some guys they'll go get a card and really I didn't see much benefit in that of going and getting a card with one of these companies like Comdata for example. Uh, they still want to withdraw the money uh, basically a day or two after you fuel so it's not like you can carry it for 30 days. Um, so we just funded an account at our bank with the fuel money and uh, we either use a debit card uh, or we'll use if we got a discount we want to use the open roads program um, which if you are a trucker I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, it's TSD Open Roads. It's an app. They send you a fuel card. It's direct. It's uh, linked to your bank account, and they draw from that. Um, so if we stop at like a Petro or a TA, we'll use the Open Roads card, um, and they'll just withdraw the money the following day. It works out really well. So um, before when we ran with Seva's fuel card, our fuel savings were not very much. Um, we don't usually go to Loves. They had bigger fuel savings if we did go to Loves. Uh, but we'd go to the mom and pa type places and we'd save like a couple pennies off the pump price. So we, uh, we're just doing a little different this time. I think it'll work out well though. You going to bed already? We wanted food. I know. He feeds me. He loves me. All right. We'll uh, catch you guys when we're feeling. Unless something exciting happens. You never know. Go driving. Something might happen. Right, Martin? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody. Why Martin always fuels, guys. I cannot get the fuel cap off. It's been sitting for a while, so it suction itself on. next to us thinks fancy's pretty. Alright, we're gonna go inside. Battle Mountain, Nevada, here at the Maverick, because it's winter winter chicken dinner for cheapest fuel. Uh, it was uh, four 
How much? Help me out, Martin. Four eighty nine. Four eighty nine a gallon. So we. Uh, how much we spend? A lot. $863. $863. That'll get us. That'll get us. That'll get us. <laughs> That'll get us somewhere. That'll get us to Colorado and back out to Wyoming. And then I think on the way, it's probably what we'll spend on the way back. I'm not roughly that. All right. Let's boogie inside, get our business done, and get back to road and get you back to bed. So it's going good. Um, gonna have to take a 30 minute break here. I think we're gonna do that in uh, Wendover at the McDonald's. I'm really hoping that the McDonald's has the adult Happy Meals because I really want one. Um, all the ones in California I've gone to, they've always been sold out. So it's kind of kind of a bummer. I, I want my Happy Meal. But for now, I got me a Snickers, tied me over and uh, another few hours to get there and we'll have dinner and then I'll drive just a little bit more and then I'll end my work shift edit a video and go to bed so we'll catch you at McDonald's slightly distraught because we're at McDonald's and they're sold out of those adult Happy Meals. Every stinking McDonald's I go to is sold out of the meals. And it's like, I want to be part of it and I can't. But on a side note, as Martin just pointed out to me, buying our McDonald's in Nevada is way cheaper than in California. Um, we went to like Wendy's for example and they get like a uh, Dave's triple meal. It's like 15 bucks. It's, they've done lost their minds there. All right, so I don't know where we're stopping. Uh, planning for Tuella, but I don't know if Martin wants to get some more sleep or not. So that's still to be determined. Uh, I'm good to go for a while. I still have four hours, 19 minutes on my clock. So yeah, we'll just hit the road and we'll figure it out. See how he's feeling. Um, if we're doing a do Tuella, that's probably about uh hour and a half away from here. So I'd be fine with that. Or if he wants me to go all the way through Utah, I'm good with that too. I, I, I like driving through Utah.
All right, guys, we are at the port of entry in Wyoming and they're closed. I was hoping they'd be open because I wouldn't mind going potty, but they're closed. The building is locked up and uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to hold it. So my shift is over, so nothing more to see. However, Martin, he's taking the wheel. He's gonna start the next episode, like literally right now. I think he's filming something right now. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Great first day back. I gotta give you guys a big thank you because our video that came out today, Sometimes Plans Change. I think that's what I named it. You guys, I cannot believe how supportive and encouraging and just downright awesome you are so many comments if we didn't respond to you I do apologize I think at this point we're knocking on like 300 comments and the video's only been out for like maybe like 12 13 hours um, the view count it's like through the roof and uh, it's just really really a nice surprise to just see how many people support Martin's decision are happy to see us back together on the road think we're making the right move and most importantly, how many of you got a kick out of that intro, right? So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed today's video, give us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm out of I'm out of content. It's been a long day. Been up since 5 a.m. It's about 10 o'clock, I think. I'm ready for bed. I need a heater on. <laughs> it's cold. It's 34 degrees, guys. Not used to this. I, I'm wearing I'm wearing my sandals. I think I think tomorrow morning I gotta put on the socks and put on my sneakers. All right, it's enough for me. Y'all stay safe. Thank you again for watching, and uh, tune in to the next one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up.